Where did I grow? So why did you start a team? I decided to build a team because I wanted to become a mom and I didn't really understand how I was going to keep my numbers the same or going up yep. as a business Maintain your family. if I kind of just took the step back. Mind you, that did not <laughs> turn out how it does. It's <laughs> great now, but that one year of my life was something else. Unpack um, that. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. My last assistant, Haley's going to laugh at this. Um, anyways, <laughs> Haley and I got pregnant at the same time. So our kids are actually two months apart, which is really cool. That is cool. That was not the issue. Um, she went on mat leave. You know, we went to go hire someone else actually through two hires and it just wasn't the right fit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I actually ended up with no assistant for the first time in four years. <laughs> and I mean, when, when was this? this was right when I had the baby. Okay. The baby. RJ is my son's <laughs> name when I had the baby. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I can honestly say I'm a very motivated person and I've never said the words in my life. Like I give up that year in my head. I was like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even know if this is worth it, but it was just because I didn't have the right support. So how long did you have the team at that point? <clears throat> well, I only had one team member at right. that time. Thank okay. God for Kim because she really carried a lot of that weight that year because I didn't have an assistant to be doing, you know, the back end of the business. So I really. That would have been know, one of the busiest years, too. Yeah. Was yeah, exactly. Yeah. That one, That's when it all kind yeah. of first started, started nuts. right? Yeah. So everybody always asked me, like, how much time did you take off? Well, I had a C-section. You ha- you're supposed to take six weeks off. But at four weeks off, I had been... <laughs> dropping me off at the office with the baby. So probably like three to four weeks. And it was around mm. Christmas. So naturally we would kind of mm. take that off anyways. Right. So I would probably do that very, very differently the next time, but I didn't really have a choice, but that yeah, was yeah. the motivation behind starting the team. Right. Um, but, and there's actually one other reason that I kind of thought of it. I've always been interested. This is maybe not something you expect me to say, but I really respect like multi-level marketing businesses, how everyone calls them pyramid schemes. But I mm-hmm. always seem every time there's a new one here, I'm like, oh, man, like I get sidetracked and I think they're so cool because of the way they grow. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I'm like, I need to replicate that same structure in real estate because yep. obviously this is what I'm already doing. You can't run two completely <laughs> opposite business at the same time. Right. I'm sure you could make it work, but it's not going to look great to my clients that I'm off no. in La La Land. So right. I'm like, how do I how do I make this better, but do it in real estate and grow that way? So I feel like growing out and then growing up together will help me not get to the burnout phase and just say, screw it. Um, what, um, what sort of concerns did you have about becoming a people manager rather than a real estate seller? I feel like that's easier. I mean, there's times where it's challenging because getting everybody on the same page is hard. Um, But we're in a really, really good place now with the girls that we have. And I feel like the more relate, like, I don't know, think about it. When you have an, a client that always comes back to you and they already know you, they're not grilling you the same way to get to know you being like, okay, go through this, go through that. So if you have repeat clients, they're easier, right? So I feel like because I have a relationship with the girls, we know each other, we've worked together, we're, we're constantly getting more in sync. It's way easier for me to have a conversation with one of them and help them through something if they need anything. And they bring a lot of value to me too, with different perspectives and, and the whole team that I feel like it's easier to manage something that way than it is to constantly be creating new relationships. Right. I think that's you showing that you're like a, a natural born leader more so though. Yeah. I think some people really struggle to lead because they're, they're maybe not able to communicate or able to pass it down. In I'm not going to pretend way. I'm perfect at it either. This is totally yeah. like a learning curve too. And I think that they've been very patient with me, especially the first two girls who came who knew like, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of going as this comes, especially like with the baby at the same time. So I'm not going to say it was like perfectly set up. Yeah. But I think one thing I tried to really care about is if I was on a team, what would be my biggest concern? And my biggest concern would be growing past or somebody taking too much of my commission or something. So I Mm -hmm. made sure I put things in place like cap votes and stuff so that they can literally still be on the team, be a top producer, not feel like they need to go somewhere else for all the business they're bringing in, yep. but then have that environment. Yeah, that's huge. It benefits both yeah. parties. That's big. I think a lot of agents are struggling to make that transition because they can't even put themselves mm-hmm. in the position of somebody that would be on a team. Like they came into the business, they were solo. The ego. Yeah, yeah the, the, the ego, ego there and, and they've just always idea. been on yeah. their own. And so they don't understand what it's like for trying to get somebody on. And so a lot of big agents, I think, struggle to either create a team or and then maintain it. Like you see a lot of turnover in the teams 
Um, so well, that's, I think that it's smart that you're able to do that. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and hopefully, knock on wood, like a lot of them, you know, we're a good group together. We're yeah. friends and, you know, but stuff happens. But I really tried to think about me personally. If somebody was trying to recruit me on their team and I yep. did align with the stuff that they were doing and I thought maybe that would be a fun environment, what would hold me back from being on a team myself? Had yep. that opportunity been there when I was in the industry, which it wasn't at the time. There was no one at the time where I'm like, hey, that's really cool how they're how they're doing that. I mean, kind yeah. of Wayne, when I first started, for sure. Like, yeah. I super admired him, but he was going off into a different direction anyway, so who yeah. knows what would happen if he, if yeah. he didn't. But. And a lot of people start teams a little bit out of ego. They're like, oh, I want to be a team leader, and they yeah. never empower their people so the people don't stick around. Right? And, I'm thinking of something in my head that I cannot say in this podcast, but <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. But I'm just saying, you know, it, it has not about to be. me, but I just remember somebody's marketing at one point, and I'm like, ooh. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, this is the challenge, and this is why teams sometimes don't last. And it's the same with growing your business. Some people we've talked about this before. Yeah, grow a business just to be able to say, I have seven people that work for me. Yeah, and that's their end goal rather than. I have creating a successful a team business. Seven that, people that all empowers like everyone, growing. employs people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, no! Yeah. I just want help, yeah. <laughs> and not because I'm like the busiest person in the whole world, but I kind of want to end up growing it to a space where people can take leads if they want them, or they can just be there for the systems or you know the environment. I think that's honestly the best part so far hmm. about our team. Yeah. Is, so you got in this business, and then I think your mindset's changed on what you really want out of 100%. it. Hundred um, percent. And I think that happens to a lot of us. I can say I'm, I'm in the same boat where I've gotten into this business for one reason, and now as time's gone on, I'm already my mindset's changed, and I'm, I think I'm more on your page now, where I'm, I'm looking to like maybe create a team and yeah. kind of help to empower some people and, and help them grow their businesses and be able to offer what I'm really good at, which may be like you're saying, bringing in leads and giving them the business guidance. More also, so than I want to validate and like point out there that not all of them need leads and that's not the reason why all of them are on it. True. But as long as I have some that yeah. want to, and, and I always tell them like, I don't feel the need to get any bigger unless we ever get to a point where everyone's too busy to take any of the leads when yeah. I'm trying to get help. But not all of them, there. like there are some that wouldn't even have time to take leads on the team as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that's like my major role, but I think that it's turned into something I didn't think it was going to because now it's not even just like me. If somebody's asking like, oh, like I'd be interested in maybe being on your team, I think it's because of the girls. Like it's because of all of us together that we've created something that's a fun environment to be in while you're navigating. Fun and supportive. Which is so, so important. That's another thing in this business. You need, to be, you need someone to support with you. Even if you're yeah. not massively producing, I think that like even when I first started, I had like one or two other people and we would just bounce off each other. Like if we want to take a weekend off or whatever, yeah, they true. would cover me, I would cover yeah. them. True. Or like sometimes you're just, you can't be in two places at once. Thanks for watching that clip from the Master Keys podcast. Check out that full episode here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share our podcast. When, 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 when I was broke, I had rich habits. Uh. When I was broke, I had rich habits. Uh.